Right, I've just passed through Canada Coombe, which is down that way. Passed through the cottage there. There's a rickety rockety bumpy wompy wobbly wobbly path that goes up if you want to do the West Mendip way up that way. This is called the plantation. And there's lots of ways I go across some beautiful fields, down through the apple orchards, over that way towards the River Axe. If we swing round this way, we've got Western Supermare over there. I'll zoom into the pier and the big white wheel that's not been turning because of the COVID. There we go, there's Western Supermare. You can see the pier, you can see the wheel. There's parts of the town, the college, some of the churches, wells over there. Yeah, so that's um, Western Supermare over there, it's the hill fort. Get a good view of it from here, really. The hill fort all along there, look. So I've got, I've reached this point. I'm going to have a drink of water in a minute. And a penguin. That's what I normally do to start with. I've got a sweet at the moment that they keep me going as well. Actually, they provide a bit of glucose. Now this is known as the bridal pathway. And I'll be following around a bit of the plantation then. Instead of going right round the plantation, I will turn... Not yet, there's a turn in left in a minute, it's not that one. I carry on round the plantation first. Then I take this, what I sort of call Bunny Lane. I've been down it once and up it once. And it goes on for quite a way, actually. Well, that's how it appeared to me at the time. Here's a private wood. There's something creepy about this place, though. Um, I can't really explain yet. The trees are now, the trees know everything. But anyway, I've got a feeling I've even cycled down here once. Down the bottom, you can turn left and it'll take you down towards Banwell, down that way. Not Banwell, Hutton. Banwell's over that way. Spooky words, like they're just, I don't know, there's something spooky about them. A couple of little swings in there. I don't know, it's, it's almost, it's ghostly. But it's got, um, I wouldn't, it's just, some words I wouldn't, I wouldn't be worried about walking in. But this, there's something at night, I mean, there's something, I don't know, I've always felt it here. Uh, so... But if I worried too much about it, I wouldn't come over here. It is beautiful as well. I mean, it is beautiful. They do clear and thin it out now and again. So I've come from that way. I'm not going to video too much of it. Just a little bit, just to give you an idea. I was over here a couple of months back and I was walking up this way I've, and I've been down this way and I've, I'm always doing it and if you carry on, in a minute I'm going to turn, not the first left turn in, the second one, but there is another turning and it actually takes you down to Christon. It's a different route that I haven't actually done, this, that particular one. But yeah, there is a route that will take you to Christon. I've, I've seen it on the um, online when I blew the map up. Of course, there's the, the, there is the path that takes you down through the Bluebell Wood that I went... I walked up on one occasion and took my bike up on another occasion. And that was... Um, Good. But uh, there's another route I now know, another way to Christon, without having to. Well, you don't. You don't have to. That uh, Bluebell Wood one is, is okay anyway to walk down. 
But if you want to do a circular down to Christon and then come back round a different route, if you see what I mean. It's the sort of thing a locals would do when they're taking their dog out. Right, I'm going to turn off for a minute, folks. I'm nearly at a junction. Like I said, if you turn left on this one, it takes you back to Hutton. Down Windmill Hill, it's called. And I carry on down the bridle path. Here. And on another bridle path, which would take me across a bridge, eventually. On the edge of... Banwell Wood. Over and out. I think I heard somebody. Right. This is video four, I think. I've got a junction point here on the Bridal Path Lane. I've just come down from there. Met two ladies going by who said hi. This is the plantation, which you can go right round and end up where I was a minute ago at Canada Coombe. And I haven't been down here, could be 10 years. I didn't know about time and distance or anything when I came here before, so I probably thought to myself it was too... I didn't know if I'd get back in time, I don't know, something... And it, looks, it looks challenging now, look at that. Might mean I have to get into a field. There was a gate back there. Don't know, might, I don't know if I can get past this. I can't see any cows. Ah, aha, someone's done a path. Good o. Someone's done a path. It's pretty murky, doesn't it? So there's the plantation. I've been in that field before now as well. I've walked a lot of these fields ten years ago when I was doing a bit of exploring. And I probably have got some very old photos and no video, I don't think, then. Could have been, yeah, it could have been basic. It would have been 2009-ish. So this is, like I said, I've been down here a long time ago. Got no recent memory of it. All I can remember at the time is that it seemed to go on forever, this lane. And then you came to this sort of redundant bridge. Obviously this is a type of drove used by the farmers. So we have another field, no cows. I reckon I've got to get in that wood by the... Um, over there, the, there's the start of the wood and there's some buildings. I think I've got to head for somewhere like that. I've actually got a map. I've got um, some names and dates and stuff. But I'll worry about that a bit later. I've got a feeling that the, the actual little bridge goes over the M5. I'm not sure. I can't remember if it does or if it just goes over an ordinary road. I'm not sure. But all I know, when I was exploring, I knew I had to walk back as well. And I had no idea of time, distance. and Because it, it went on quite... It seemed to go on a long way. I probably thought, oh, I better. I got to the bridge, and then I just decided to to walk back, and that was as far as it went. I had seen the wood. I seen a road, and thought, oh, that's a bit dodgy for getting on. Wonder if they've done another path here for us. Might not have this time. Hold on, what's this here? Oh yes, someone's thought of the pedestrians, haven't they? I'm videoing this because this is new. Keeps you out from the troughs of water. Nice and cool as well. 
bit isolated though, show on it. Yeah. Don't worry about it though, just keep going, girl. Keep going. I can't remember this bit. Maybe the path wasn't muddy before and this has been made since is I'm talking about 10, 11 years ago. One day I'll get all the old discs out. They need sharing again, some of them. Sometimes Facebook will share, but it depends if I put them on Facebook in the first place. I might not have put them all on. It's coming out in the open again now. This is the way I'll have to come back as well, by the way, if I decide to do that. Well, I'm going to, I'm trying to be sensible because the walk all around the wood up here might be enough, but it depends weather. I mean, there's, there's three hours between the one to six. Um, it's quite a big gap. It's like um, half past one, a bus, I think, arrives. We just have to... Uh, cheddar and then where it might be 10 to 2 or something it arrives but I might still be walking about then now if I hang on for that last bus and like I said if there's no room on the bus you're stuck and you've got to walk home you know from a long way out and of course the only way you can do it is really this time of year you would miss all the buses if you took that risk. So what I'm probably going to do is walk back. I've got a feeling there is one, I didn't bring it with me, but there is one bus, the last bus from uh, five o'clock-ish, I think. Could be six. I don't know now, I should have made a note of it. Not to worry, I'm not going to worry about anything. I'm enjoying this walk. Um, so this is down a bridle path lane, it's called. From the plantation in Canada Coombe area. It's lovely, it's keeping me very cool. I've just remembered I haven't had my bar of chocolate or my uh, drink of water yet. So what I'm going to do now, folks, because I'll turn back on again, further down and as we approach the bridge. So over and out for now. Right, I've just emerged from that wooded area near the plantation. Met two ladies on horses who, although they live nearby, they've never been down here. I've, I've, I just think that's so odd, you know, that people don't know what then I was thinking to myself, I wonder if this is the right path. Could there have been another one? Is this the one with the bridge? Do you know what I mean? I could have, there could have been another parallel path and I've missed it. I don't know. I think this is the right one. I reckon it is. But there could have been one further over, but this might turn out to be better. Maybe there isn't a bridge here. <laughs> yeah, there is. I can see the bridge now. I don't know if it's a motorway, though. It's just a road that links up to Weston. The motorway is further over. <laughs> it could be. So anyway, there's some um, Hutton Woods that I've wanted to explore. I said I could have taken the wrong route, but it doesn't really matter because I do want to get in those woods. I don't think I have. Now if we come round here, see there's a uh, the stiles everywhere, which is always a good sign if you've got stiles. You can hear the motorway. I don't know if you can. It's roaring. Listen to it. 
be interesting to see. This might just be a bridge going over a small road that joins the motorway. I've got no idea yet. But it sort of peters out this road. Look, you've got someone private live up there. They live over there somewhere. I haven't seen where they've gone, so... A lot of horsey people around here, see? Yeah, this is definitely the bridge. All I've got to do, I've got to, I know I've got a bear left when I get out of here and then look for signs to get up in the wood. Which might be a bigger wood than I even know. I might have chewed off too much, who knows. Because the other thing was to just get a bus out to Banwell and just... But I wanted to do this. I had thought about just doing that rather than this extra bit. Just getting out to Banwell and just exploring over here and then getting the bus back. But like I said, I don't know if the times have increased yet. I think it's going to be July. Now you see, look here. There's a route, look. See, there's a path. I wonder where that would take you. See? Just go up there and have a look. So it's, it's always handy to know. Because this could be a bypass that would save you from getting run over on the road. Let's just have a look. Just go out here. It's all part of exploring. Come on, I can hear the road very close. But obviously I've got to get on the other side. So, no, we'll go this way. That sounds like a motorway to me. That sounds like a motorway. came here last time there were people on the bridge um, you know spectators and that yeah Yeah, so somewhere, they live over there somewhere. They came in for a field over there, maybe they live down there, see? So you don't need to come down here. Yeah, it's a motorway. busier than it was a couple weeks back. Still a lot of lorries. Of course up there you've got uh, Wavery Down and Crooks Peak which might come into view in a minute. Yeah, I can see Crook's Peak. I'll zoom in in a minute. I've looked over from Crook's Peak at this motorway before. Bridge. Weird, isn't it? You've got
got a country lane there. Yeah, it would have been no good following that path. There is probably another bridge up there. Right, over and out, I'm going to take um, a picture of Crook's Peak. 